mouth contains a salivary enzyme which helps digesting carbohydrates so carbohydrates get partially digested in the mouth now post swallowing the food travels down this esophagus and gets stored in the stomach for further digestion so proteins get partially digested in the stomach now after the food passes out of the stomach it enters the duodenum where further carbohydrates proteins as well as fats get digested so this is the duodenum where fats are getting digested along with carbohydrates and proteins so proteins carbohydrates and fats are getting absorbed in the villi present in the small intestine now these bigger molecules or the unabsorbed food passes along this broader pipe which is known as the large intestine and these undigested unabsorbed food gets excreted out of our body so is the large intestine just a pathway for transportation of undigested and unabsorbed food let us see till now we've seen that fats carbohydrates and proteins have been absorbed by the small intestine but these are two very essential nutrients that we require in our body but these two nutrients haven't been absorbed in much quantities previously so the large intestine when the unabsorbed food travels absorb these water and minerals in excess amount so large intestine does not only form a pathway for the food to travel but it also absorbs water and minerals from the food see glucose and amino acid gets absorbed in the blood vessels of the villi and the fat gets absorbed in the lymph ducts now these unabsorbed food molecules they travel through the large intestine where water and minerals get absorbed before getting excreted out of the body now this region of the large intestine which is at the junction of the small intestine and the large intestine is known as the cecum and this region of the large intestine is known as the colon so it is in these two regions that the water and the minerals get absorbed so food unabsorbed food travels through this way through the cecum and the colon and finally excreted out of the body so these are the places where water and minerals are absorbed now undigested and unabsorbed food gets eliminated through the rectum and the anus now we've often heard people uh, complaining of tremendous pain in the right side of the abdomen well one of the reasons for this pain might be a condition known as appendicitis appendicitis is a disease which is uh, which affects a portion of the large intestine which is known as the appendix so what happens is that 
unabsorbed food molecules like roughage they get stored in this appendix and slowly the appendix gets swollen and it causes immense pain in this region see the appendix is getting inflamed so during this condition the doctors ask us to remove the appendix surgically now can you tell me why only some people suffer from appendicitis that is because not in all people but in a few people these roughage molecules get stored in the appendix since it gets stored the appendix becomes inflamed and causes a lot of pain in the lower abdomen so doctors surgically remove this uh, organ from the body but the removal of this organ does not affect the function of the rest of the body because this organ or the appendix is a vestigial organ that is it is an useless organ it does not have any functions in the body